2023 Lamborghini Huracan Storado enriches the automotive world with its existence, despite lacking any logical or practical necessity. Lamborghini, already strong in car sales with impressive models, including higher priced special editions, has the 641 horsepower Urus SUV for those seeking Italian style off road rally adventures. Yet, the raison d'etre of the Huracan Storado is more about spirit than practicality. Its greatest allure lies not in economic rationale, but sheer enjoyment. If you have the chance to drive a Lamborghini, let alone experience the thrill of its last naturally aspirated V10 engine roaring as it glides through sand, kicking up 10-foot rooster tails. The conflicting emotions this experience brings between we shouldn't be doing this and this is the most fun we've ever had represent a type of joy more people should encounter. As expressed by Features Editor Christian Sebaugh, I haven't driven a Group B rally car on dirt, but I imagine it's as exhilarating as this. Looking over its short nose, hearing the V10's melody behind you as you slide sideways. It's pure, flipping fun, man. The most impressive aspect seems to lie not in construction, but in adjustments. Instead of developing new parts for the Storado, existing ones were elongated to achieve a 1.7-inch suspension lift. The true magic lies in how all components were tuned to perform in environments and scenarios never originally intended. It's not just about functioning, but excelling. Switch into rally mode, grab the paddles, and guide the Storado down paths no other Huracan would dare. You'll soon find yourself smiling and chuckling on rural roads. This isn't merely an asphalt princess, but a true high-speed off-road vehicle. While other Huracan models might unsettle you at these speeds and angles, the Storado feels like it's in its natural element. It's as if the Huracan was born for this, and the track stars are the quirky special editions. However, choosing the right path is crucial. As our off-road course began to deteriorate from frequent use, the Storado's limitations became evident. Its 6.4 inches of ground clearance isn't much, so the aluminum skid plates quickly came into play. More concerning for drivers were the unsettling noises from the suspension as it bottomed out over large bumps and ruts. Fortunately, it was just noise. Multiple reviewers feared they had inflicted career-ending damage on the car, only to find it unharmed. Softer bump stops would certainly help. Deputy Editor Alexander Staklosa noted, large potholes and washed-out ridges hammered the Storado's tires and underbody. There were several full-drop suspension unloads and impacts that felt dangerously close to a broke a Lamborghini territory. No damage was found afterward, but the sounds, head toss, and vibrations were disquieting. While the Bridgestone all-terrain tires excelled off-road and on, they also revealed their limits on the track. The Huracan begs to be driven hard in all situations, but the tires lack the grip the car demands, closer to around 80%. You can compensate by braking early, avoiding trail braking, and using the throttle to rotate off the apex, but otherwise, mild yet maddening understeer creeps in. Leave the track to other variants, and keep this one on roads, paved or otherwise. In conclusion, it's the ultimate Huracan for typical use urban driving potholes, speed bumps, and steep driveways that would give Huracan STO owners mild heart attacks become irrelevant. There's not even an apparent interior noise penalty from the tires or optional roof rack, mostly because the glorious V10 engine is so loud that little else is heard. Concerns about the level of design advancement here and whether the reworked parts justified a $25,000 value at MSRP. Over the Huracan Evo, it's based on have been raised, but the smiles this factory built, street legal rally car puts on our faces easily dismiss them. Like the STO, we hope there are many more generations of the Huracan Storado to come.